Hello everyone, this is Yan Bing, and in this video I'm gonna talk about the collision of the Spring Max. So here you will see all the collision settings. And uh, with this button, you can create the collision body, like the capsule. I click the button, you will see there the capsule in the be created. So I can change the capsule, can move it. And change the size with these attributes, but don't scale the capsule. Use the use this scale function. Right now, I just locked it to make sure you cannot scale it. So you you can only change the size of capsule with this setting, or otherwise it will cause the wrong calculation reload. Okay, so here if I say I'm gonna to make the capsule interact with the bond chain. I will set a keyframe here and uh, here I move the capsule forward to pass through the bond chain. So it will become like that. Okay, Select all the chain we want to calculate and active the collision with the default setting. Let's see what happened. Say apply. That's the reload. So if the capsule moving fast, like that. Let's do again, see what happened. See. You will see an issue is the chain cannot get the capsule well and popping back to the original position. So to solve that issue, you would like to use the subaffirm function. Here's the uh, some expression of the subaffirm. The basic idea is it will calculate more times in one frame to catch the capsule body better. So with this speed, I think I can use try fly subaffirm and say apply. Now it can catch because it's calculated more time than he can. Uh, basically, it's just s can see slower move of the capsule body. So, if you just click this button, it will just create a capsule in the original point in things. But if you pick skeleton, pick joint, and click button, it will create a capsule match up the bone you pick. You can also work in with the bipped skeleton. So you can pick all the part you want and create a capsule there. And if you don't, if you finish the calculate and uh, don't want capsule anymore, you can you can remove all the collision body. Then they are gone. The next step I'm going to talk is the plan collision. That's the new collision in Max version, which should not appear in Maya version. But uh, later I will add it in Maya. So the plan with click the button, you will see a square plan, and you can with the same way to change the shape of plan. So let's put a plan. The plan has a fa uh, direction. So with this, when you can see the plan, that's the above, and when you're on the bottom, you cannot see it. So the collision only happens on hit to above. It will not collide when you hit from the bottom. Okay. So here I change the animation a bit of the chain. Let me remove the previous animation. So I wanted the chain like a, like a jumping character with jumping from the sky to the land and uh, all the clothing, whatever the stuff, just follow down, something like that. And I want to see if all the bone will keep above the collision. So let me pick all the chain. 
calculation. Oh, I still have the sub frame on and it just set to the one. See the default to reload. See. It's a, it's a, it's a small generate, but basically it can keep on the plan. Let me try to do more like go down and uh, slowly go up. See if they moving well. down and moving up see all the channel will trying to keep up all the plan and the plan can rotate moving even parent to something else the collection should always work so I can make the plan starting from here and uh, at here I move the I move the plan to this place and move the plan go up a bit see what happened so the interesting part of this kind of Felix result is before the calculation I don't even know what's gonna happen and maybe something crazy will happen let's see so so it's hit on the plan and moving for forward with the plan it looks yeah it looks not bad right still kind of correct so here I let me do more. I rotate plan. See, it can can move the chain to up, still keep the chain above it. Try again. Oh, go down, go up, and the move a bit. See, can be hold by the plan. So. The other, uh, the other thing is about the sensitivity. Sensitivity basically just working well for the uh, for the capsule. So the meaning is when the capsule moving, it can have the speed of capsule. So if it's moving slow, then the bond result will trying to slowly close to the capsule. But if the capsule moving fast then the bone will uh, jump to it something like hit to it or whatever it's really fast trying to match up with the speed of capsule moving so with that sit, uh, with that we can get the collision better result so that's why here the sensitivity is always it's defined uh, how fast the capsule moving will trigger the bone chain will trying to cap catch it so which means the slow smaller value here will cause more catch behavior on the chain and also my cause jittery happens if the capsule actually moving slow but you set very low value here mm, yeah so basically that's the basic use of the collision and uh, later on I'm gonna have another video to talking about in real character how those things work in correct with the correct setting how those so how those things working. So that's it. Thank you for your watching.